Hello, hello guys. Welcome to Quantum Mechanics. You know, in this video, we are actually tackling particle in one dimensional box, right? So the purpose of this video is to find the wave function, the wave function for a one dimensional particle in a box, right? You know, and the wave function tells us where a particle will probably be, right? Inside the box. So this is actually an infinitely deep box. Um, it has got a length of A, right? It has got a length of A. And the potential energy outside the box is infinity. And the potential energy inside the box, sorry, equals to zero, right? Okay. And as I've spoken also in the previous video that we are bound to come across, you know, Schrodinger equation, um, you know, almost, you know, in all... Or most aspects you know that um, involves quantum mechanics so this equation will take another form firstly I would like us to guys take note that this is the kinetic energy this is the potential energy and this is the total energy right okay cool this equation will take another form it's gonna be this divided by 2m then, okay, I place a partial derivative there, but um, there's actually no use of it since we are dealing with single variable. Okay, cool. So this will actually be the equation, um, the Schrodinger equation for the particle, you know, in one dimensional box. All right. And the potential energy is obviously equals to zero inside the box, right? Okay, let us consider the boundary conditions, right? Um, the wave function at zero equals to zero. Also, the wave function at A equals to zero, you know. Okay, these are the boundary conditions you know and outside the box the wave function will equals to zero right okay and also i think we can just write that the potential energy equals to zero right inside the box um the potential energy equals to zero inside the box and equal it equals to infinity outside the box when x is greater than a and when x is less than zero all right cool okay so remember we are looking for the wave function of a particle in a box right so we are now we are going to apply the boundary conditions you know to a trigonometric equations to a trigonometric equation psi of x is a sine of k of x plus b cos of k of x all right okay at this point in time at least you guys can see what i'm writing okay cool we're going to apply the boundary conditions for x is equals to zero right psi of zero equals to a sine k times zero plus b cos k times zero okay all of this will equals to zero why because of the wave function at the boundary conditions equals to zero okay so this result into um so the sine of zero will actually equal to zero so it's going to be zero plus b cos of zero equals to one equals to zero hence b equals to zero cool secondly for x equals to a we also apply this boundary condition a sine of k times a plus b is already zero there so um you know can just put it but 
we know what it will result into. Okay, so a sine ka equals to zero. And when will this be satisfied? This will be satisfied if a equals zero or when k a equals to um, n times pi where n is an element of integers as you guys think you remember the sine graph right continues this is zero this is pi this is two pi you know and so on three pi and you know you can also continue this side okay cool so mathematically when um setting a equals to zero right a can equal zero that that is, that is okay you know um the equation can be satisfied mathematically but now if we set a equals to zero what will this mean you know for our wave function the wave function will always equals to zero if this is the case the wave function will always equals to zero and um this is not acceptable why because we are looking for a wave function for a particle in a box, right? And so when the wave function is equal to zero, it means when it equals zero always, it means that um, it means that there is no particle in a box, right? And so this is in this this case we're not interested in it. So the case we're gonna consider is this, right? So k will equals to n pi divide by a you know what i'm saying hence we are almost at our answer all right so the wave function all right let's see okay cool sorry about that the wave function for a particle in one dimensional box will equals to a times sine n times pi over a multiplied by x so this is the wave function, right? But this wave function is unnormalized. Why? Because, I mean, what is, what is the value of A? So on the next video, we are gonna actually normalize the wave function, um, the, the, the wave function for a particle in one dimensional box. You know what I'm saying? So if you are, um, you know interested in this so you can just tell me in the comments below as to how can you possibly normalize the wave function of a one-dimensional box you know not only for a one dimension dimensional this this was to keep you know the mathematics simple you know what i'm saying but for even two-dimensional or three-dimensional you can just comment um below right but for the for the next video the focus will be to normalize this wave function thank you guys for watching and stay cool